Hey hi, hello everyone, welcome back to this fifth day on PHP for beginners. So before we get started, I really want to uh, ask you guys one thing. If you really like my videos, please go ahead and subscribe to these videos. You can go to my website and here is a category where you can select on which videos you want to subscribe. So if you like my these PHP videos, you can select PHP. It will take you to the page where I have all of my PHP videos and just down from here you can subscribe to them I have a lot of options you can whether subscribe or you can subscribe for an email option or there are a lot of other options that you can use in order to subscribe to my videos okay so I will move to the folder and I will name it to day 5 and here I'm going to create a new file and name it called basics.php. Okay. And I will open this file with my text editor and we will start again the basic way in order to start any PHP file with the PHP opening and a closing tag. So, guys, in order to write any PHP program, you need four basic things and they would be a variable a string boolean or an integer so what they all are and how to make php understand okay this is a variable this is a string this is a boolean or this is an integer because php itself don't don't understand if you write abc php have no idea what it what it is you will have to make it understand that is the reason we will have to follow the syntax that have been provided to us by PHP so guys if you remember in our last video I told you if you want to echo any string whether we will have to use single codes or we will have to use double codes so let's do it same way and print uh, something different this time I'm going to say I love PHP okay so come here I will open the file that we created as basics.php. It's not found, it might be basic.php. Oh, again, not found. Okay, got it. Because the folder name is day5 basics.php. It says, I love PHP. <clears throat> so, guys, once we are using these double codes or single codes, we are making the PHP understand it is a string let's say I want to create a variable uh, the variables are something like that once we are putting a string into a particular variable let me create it that will make more sense to you guys so I'm going to say dollar $x is equals to all of PHP okay so what we are doing out here is we are creating a variable in order to create any variable we will have to prepend a dollar sign if you guys have been using JavaScript or any library of a JavaScript, you guys would be clear about it because in JavaScript we use var in order to create any variable. But with PHP, we need a dollar sign. So I'm saying dollar plus the name of the variable. It can be anything. It can be name, it can be x, it can be y. So I'm going to say dollar x is equals to I love PHP. So every time I have to print this I love PHP. I don't have to write it again and again. I can only say echo dollar x. So if I'll come back, it says I love PHP the same thing. Okay, guys, uh, you might be thinking that I was saying we will have to use a double codes in order to echo anything, but that is not the case in variables. So if I'll say double codes, and it is okay. One second, let's try single codes. It says a dollar x. Okay, if I will use single quotes and I will print any variable, it will not take it like a variable, it will take it like a string. So in order to make PHP understand, we will have to take these quotes off. So if I'll take them off, it will say all of PHP. So this way, if you are using any single quotes or any double quotes, we are telling the PHP that it, it is a string. And once we are not using a string, we are going to use a variable, then we are going to use uh, dollar in the front and then we will not use any single or double codes otherwise it will not uh, 
the PHP will not treat it like a variable, it will treat it like a string. Uh, guys, what is a string? String is a combination of alphanumeric numbers. So in string, you can use anything starting from A to Z, 1 to 10, or any special character. So I can say L of PHP from 20 years. From 20 years. So here I'm also using two values which are not alphabets, but they are integer. And the PHP have no problem while printing it out. Uh, the next thing I told you is an integer. Guys, integer is only anything between 1 to 10. So uh, I will not say 1 to 10, so between 0 to 9. So it can be 1000. It's coming between 0 to 9. I can say 1001. If I will print it, it is going to print that. And if you will, guys, note one thing out here. I'm not using any single or double codes. If I will use them, it will do the same thing. So for the strength, is you have one exception that you can use. Uh, I'm sorry, not for the strength, for the integers. You have one exception. You can use them inside the single or double codes or without them. Now, the question arises how PHP understands whether it is a string or a variable. Okay, Because in variable, we don't use any codes. And in uh, integer, I'm not using any codes. So, might be PHP is getting confused whether this one is a variable or this one is a variable. Guys, very basic difference. Here, we have a dollar sign. That making PHP understand, okay, this is a variable, not this. Let's say, if I'll say a dollar, one zero 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 one, you might be thinking, this is a variable now. No. See, we are getting a syntax error. There is a rule in PHP that you can never create any variables with an integer or a special character like a dollar, a percentage, or an extract. You cannot create any variables with this. A variable has to start with a alphabet. So I can say x1 is a variable. And here I have to say x1. Okay. And I can say x1 percentage or I can use anything but I cannot you I cannot start a variable with an integer or with a uh, special character they need to be uh, with the alphabets so say x1 equals to this uh, guys uh, the next thing I was talking about a boolean a boolean is a true or a false but uh, I'm not going to discuss this right now because uh, you guys will get confused with this we might will deal with it later once we would be building some functions but for now you can only practice with strings you can see how php is treating a string an integer and a variable plus i want to tell you one more thing is how to comment a line guys comments are the most important things once you would be building some uh, complicated functions <clears throat> what comments do is uh, okay let me show you guys first how to create a comment i can say two backward slashes whatever I will write here uh, I will write to starting of echo okay if I will go back there it is not going to print this on the screen the comments are only to make a programmer or a developer understand what they are doing line by line uh, let's say you have a file where you are creating more than 10 or 20 functions you just want to leave some comments which function do what and it is not going to print all of that on any of your web page so this is the syntax in order to create any comments so if you will use uh, double uh, backward slashes uh, anything after that it is going to make it a comment or you can use a uh, backward slash a star and backward slash a star to end it out so I can say echo like this uh, the difference between a double backward slash or a backward slash and a star is the double backward slash will only comment out that particular line it will not comment anything else and this particular thing will comment it out until and unless you are not going to end it so guys this is only a basic introduction to the syntax of PHP if you guys have any questions Please do not hesitate. Go ahead and leave some comments. I will help you out. Till that time, goodbye.